Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the next episode of the No Money Spend series and today we do have this free pack here, the Legend Fantasy Pack we got from leveling up. We also have a Team Captain Reward and we have a 96 overall Power Pass. Now I did ask you guys over on Twitter who I should use it on and I think we've decided who to use it on. But I do want to give a shout out to Crocky Kid for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shouted out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub the channel. Turn that notification bell on and comment down below Noti Gang. We also just hit 157,000 subscribers, so we're closing in on 160k already. Thank you guys very much for all the support. And one last thing before we get into the packs and the gameplay and everything for today's episode, if you guys didn't already know, I am sponsored by G Fuel. They actually sent me the new bubblegum flavor early. And I have to say, I tried it over on Twitter. You guys can go find that video on Twitter. It tasted a lot better than I thought it would. Like bubblegum kind of threw me off a little bit. I was like, bubblegum flavored drink. I'm not sure how it's going to be. It's honestly really good. So if you guys want to check that out, link is in the description, code ZERK of course, over on G Fuel, all caps, and that bubblegum flavor goes live tomorrow, so if you guys want to check it out, you definitely can. But let's get into this, let's get our team captain reward token here, uh, we'll be able to upgrade Brian J Zier again, and let's get into the Legend Fantasy Pack, see if we can get something good, but to be completely honest here, like, G Fuel does a really, really good job with their flavors and how they do it, and I have to say, I was very, very pleasantly surprised at how good it is. As in round number two here, we get a 77 overall and nothing really good. On to round number three, though. We're going to start off with an 85. We get 92. Cam. Ah, 88 Jabro Peppers. We get a UL89 and we get another UL89. So can we use these guys? Probably not going to be using him. Uh, we already have a left outside linebacker in TJ Watt. And we obviously don't need a running back auto Graham. So I guess we'll just go with... Kevin Green but the thing is we're probably just gonna end up quick selling everything we just pulled because I need a little bit of training for something I'm about to do by the way I have been upgrading Tory Holt as I go through my levels you guys can see he's up to a 97 overall but let's go ahead and actually upgrade Ryan Shazier now so you can get one overall higher and again we're gonna kind of have to take a look at his stats here because he might actually slide into the starting lineup now I mean there's no point having 98 Ryan Shazier and not starting him over, say, Devin Bush or Isaiah Simmons. Would you guys see a pair to Devin Bush here? We're probably just going to end up switching around the abilities and putting them on Shazier because I like to use her Devin Bush, but at this point, he's way better. But what we are actually going to do is use some of the training points that we have and upgrade Julius Peppers and use that 96 overall power pass. I asked you guys over on Twitter, who should I use it on? And you guys said Calvin and peppers those are like your top two people who i should use it on and honestly between those two it had to be peppers for the team that i have right now so this is now how the team looks now i actually just realized this but the justin herbert the cd lamb the isaiah simmons they actually went down in overall now so unfortunately cd lamb is going to be wide receiver five not really play that much we do have 86k though what is someone else we should pick up remember i'm going to be playing some solo challenge and stuff we're going to get into a gameplay here in a second as well Trying to get some more coins to upgrade the team. Here's my thought process, okay? So we are about to get a 97, 98, and 99 overall power-up pass. What do you guys think about me using the 97 overall power pass on Saquon Barkley, using the 98 on Lamar Jackson, and of course the 99 on Randy Moss? Would you guys like for me to use those three power passes and upgrade Saquon, Lamar, and Randy Moss and get them all maxed out so that we actually have like three beasts on the offensive side of things? And then defensively, we can use some of those coins and maybe pick up like LT's next step, uh, maybe TJ Watt. Aside from that, we could kind of use another cornerback, so let me know down below what I should do. But let's get into the game plan and hopefully catch a W. So, of course, that is going to be my top three with Minko, Randy Moss, and Lamar Jackson, and Seahawks theme team. Let's see what we can do out here. You guys can see that he does have abilities on Tyler Lockett. He also does have abilities on Greg Olson. One thing I noticed, though, as Tyler Lockett's going to cook us, is that he does have Hester. But I don't think he has, like, the super juiced up Hester because he's not even using abilities on him, so... 
I, I don't really understand that. I would definitely be using abilities on Devin Hester. As I'm going to watch out for the tight end, once again, I'll be looking to go to the corner route. I'm going to send a blitzer at him and... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to get a pick. For some reason, that animation definitely made me think we were going to get a pick there. But I'm going to set up a QB spy, and I'm just going to have to watch out over here with Tyler Lockett. It's a very weird offense. I don't, I don't think I've really seen anyone running this style of offense with a theme team. I have definitely seen people running a pistol offense, but I don't I think I've ever seen this specific formation. And every single time they motion over the receiver on the left side. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. As I'm going to try to watch out for that, he's going to throw it still, and we can't come away with a pick. He definitely has got us beat when it comes to overall team, but as long as we can just slow down Tyler Lockett, we should be okay, and that could have been a pick too. I think I just got there a tad bit too late. Enough to break up the pass, but enough to actually come away with the interception. As going to be running to the left side, and Edgar and James is going to get in. So let's see what we can do out here on offense. I have to say, the one thing that makes me really, really scared to face an all Seahawks team would be if they actually had Cam Chancellor, because then I'd just be fumbling over the field. But Saquon's taking a huge hit. I think without a doubt, our biggest issue is definitely going to be getting our offensive line to actually block here, because we just don't really stack up that well versus passers. You guys can see sending a blitz at me. Couldn't even get the ball off. Not only could we not get the ball off there in third down, but Saquon just didn't block. Like, Saquon completely misses block there. He's going to hand off once again to Edgar and James down to the 11. And this is definitely going to be tough to stop. Come on, defense. Someone needs to step up, make a play on him here as he just hits the outside. Don't have the speed. Definitely have to try and utilize our playmakers. We don't have that many out here, but we're going to try our best. Honestly, like, I would rather throw the ball with the offense that we have because we do have Moss and all those guys, but the offense line is just not there. Well, guys, this game is not going well. You can see two-minute warning just hit. He's at the one-yard line. What can I do? So I am really trying my best out here in offense, guys, but it is extremely hard to actually pass the ball when we have zero time in the pocket as good run there, Saquon. You guys can see the score. We still have not done anything on offense, really. We just haven't really been able to score at all. Defensively, though, we're going to stop here. And I'm going to be honest here, if my opponent somehow scores, we're probably going to leave the game because there's just no way we're coming back 28-0 having to pass the ball versus this guy's defensive line. I legit just don't have any time in the pocket as we get a pick there with Devin Bush. And of course, we don't get the one block we needed. Oh, there we go. Down the field. Robbie Anderson. Good catch. Robbie Anderson. Keep going. And then you're too slow. Third down and 30 coming up. I think you guys can uh, use your imagination and find out what has been happening to me these last couple plays and why it's third and 30. As let's just see if we can get some decent pass blocking. I'm going to try to roll out here. Hit B. AJ Green, good catch. All right, fourth down coming up. And with this defensive front, I'm running the ball. I'm going to run the ball. We should be able to pick up this first down. If we get some decent blocks, Saquon picking up a gain of 10. Even when I make it down to the goal line, we just cannot punch it in, man. Third and goal at the eight. I'm going to run the ball here so we can hit the outside. Juke him out. Thank you, Saquon, getting it for the TD. And just like that, he's already down at the 22-yard line. All that work on offense, <laughs> he's still... Is just moving the ball with ease as he's going down the seams here to Greg Olson. Gonna be down around the 10. So guys, that game obviously did not go the way that we wanted that to, and that unfortunately does knock us out of playoff contention as well. So now we took a fat out. So they burst me up versus a theme team. Not only just a regular theme team, but a Seahawks theme team at that. That's actually a pretty dang good team. So unfortunately, we did take the L there, but uh, one thing that I definitely know now for sure is we need to upgrade the O-line. So since we do have some series trophies to use, let's just use it on this wheel of coins. By the way, how do I have 11 series trophies? I don't even know how I have 11 series trophies, but we get 2,000 coins here out of the wheel of coins. Also, we've got this daily mission pack to get into, so we'll get into this pack as well. Maybe we'll get lucky. And we get 7,500 coins. So, guys, we got 97.5 thousand coins. And it was very, very obvious from that game. I think he sacked me literally 10 times. Like, there's just absolutely nothing I could do about it. We can have all the weapons in the world. But if I don't have a good enough offensive line, there's just nothing that I can really do about it. So, please let me know down below what offensive line I should be looking to picking up. Definitely in the center, right guard, and Deardorff just got demolished that game like he just got absolutely ran through i tried to block saquon still did not help over there so let me know down below who we should pick up unfortunately that game was bad we got absolutely thrashed but we did end up picking up julius peppers today's episode ryan shazier is up to a 97 overall 
And aside from that, there's some changes that need to be made to the team. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.